entertain? Are you not entertained? Hello there, gang, and welcome to another episode of Displaying Model Behaviour, the Earth's mightiest video podcast. So take off your pants, crack a beer, and let's talk toys. Let's talk about the combatants' fight for glory, Ketuta figure, or the Rhinator, as I like to call him. Gang, this thing is an absolute beast, so let's talk about him. So as you can see, with the box delicately rotating here on the ludicrously expensive Spinatron 5000, the actual packaging is beautiful. I really, really dig that comic book style artwork on there. And then we can remove the slip case and there's just more awesome photography, just kind of getting the juices flowing for how badass this figure's gonna be. Then you take him out of the packaging and boom, big, huge, horned, red monster. <laughs> we got to take this thing to pieces and talk about it bit by bit. But before we do, if you'd like to support the channel and deck out your wardrobe, then you can do by getting a badass graphic tee over at Into the AM. This company approached me and they said, Dave, we like what you're doing, we want to sponsor you. And I was like, I would love you to sponsor me. Also, I really, really dig your merchandise. Because honestly, like, of all the things that I could be asked to wear and sport and sponsor, this, this is badass. I haven't bought new clothes in years. I mean, I'm too busy buying action figures. I'm sure you can identify with that problem. I don't know when the last time was that I went underwear shopping. But now, Into the AM means that you can buy these and still have money left over for your action figures. They're doing sets of three for 60 bucks, and if you click the link in the description below, you get an extra 10% off with my behavior link. So, I mean, come on, guys. Like someone who can't pronounce their T's or their F's, you can't say fairer than that then. Just realized I used that expression on a previous episode where I did another sponsorship thing and I need to get some more catchphrases. Nonetheless, though, go check out Into the AM. They're a great company, they do great stuff. But enough about that, let's talk toys. And here he is, the LA Comic Con exclusive Ketuta figure. And <laughs> when I first saw this previewed in various websites and whatnot, I thought, okay, love the, des love the design. <laughs> I just, <laughs> love the design. The words are hard. I love the design, but I wasn't sure about the red because it's so red. It's so blah. And I feel like maybe you lose a little bit of detail if it's all just this one bright primary color. I'm happy to say, though, when you get him in hand, it's not so overwhelming because there is so much detail going on with the rest of the paint job. With the shadows and the shading, it actually brings a lot more life into this than I was expecting. Because I thought, no, I want more of a flat, classic kind of a gray brown rhino hide sort of look but that being said that would probably get a little bit lost on the shelf because i do have that problem with furay planet a little bit i love those characters but they're not the brightest this guy doesn't have that problem <laughs> he's gonna stand out by a country mile and also he's got some weight some heft some chonk to him i always love that and if we go from top to bottom what i gotta say is the detail of the sculpting and the look of the face absolutely wicked like that's that's five star Mwah, chef's kiss right there but then the articulated jaw. Oh, he's only got the one head. But when you actually are able to change the expression like that, that's that's so great. I just there's something about an articulated jaw. It just makes something feel a little bit more, a little, little, little bit more premium. Premium, dude! Premium! Dude! This is premium, dude. So then we go further down the body, and you got the lovely kind of uh, is it is it like a a, a yeah, it, it, it's a ball swivel. A ball swivel on the upper torso and on the waist as well. In the year of our Lord, 2024, this is what action figures should be. No more disc hips, all right? And also, because he's got this huge, big, chunky, chunky belt here as well, that disguises any kind of torso swivel, any kind of waist swivel kind of joint anyway. So he looks almost like flawless. He looks more like a stop motion puppet than an action figure. That's just... That's what kind of gets gets the people going. I don't even know what that means. No one knows what it means, but it's provocative. <sighs> no, it's not. It's it gets gross. the people going. So then we go down to, to the legs as well. And I, I always kind of recognize these knee joints. They, they remind me of the Storm Collectibles types as well. It's not exclusive to Storm, but it's just what, what makes me, you know, think about them. And of course, pinless. 
nice and smooth, as I was saying, like a stop motion character. It doesn't look like an action figure. It looks like a real thing. Does that make any sense? I don't know, but I feel like it does. And then all of the lovely wash and the paintwork on here really brings to life things like the wraps on his feet, and then the belts and buckles on his armor here. That's really, really nice. And I think, yeah, the actual, the armor piece here, the, the belt, it sits separately. So I think if you wanted to, if you wanted to be one of those people who likes to take their figures apart and pop things and have fun with it, you could probably remove this belt section if you pop various pieces, but I don't want to do that. I, why would I want to destroy my figures by trying to do anything to them besides what you're supposed to? I don't trust myself. I got zero customizing skills. But let's talk about articulation, okay? I want to talk about articulation because that's one little caveat for this guy is that I would love some more head movement. You've pretty much just got this kind of rotation, this side to side rotation here. He can like look up and down a teeny tiny bit, but ultimately his, his hair, the hair on, on his back here, it's gonna prevent him from looking up. Cause I always like my big bruiser characters like this. I love to have them in a stance where they're like leaning forward, head up, rah! But he can't really sort of do that so much. It's, it, it's, not, it, it's not so easy. He can't, he can't kind of look to the, to the side. You can only kind of like look sort of angle. So I would have liked a bit more movement there, but you know, that's, that's a small piece. That's not, that's not a big piece, not a big problem. And if we look at the weapons and the accessories, he, he's got this thing. And oh my goodness, this is gonna do some damage. It's cool, I've got one other character from the Fight for Glory line. I, I forget her name, is it? No, I won't try and puzzle it out. It begins with a Z or an X. But the, the red gladiator lady, she's awesome so i can't wait to put these two together that's gonna look wicked she's back home in england but they will be reunited at some point but yeah this weapon that's awesome he's got different hands as well so you got the coming to get you you got the big ass fists as well and one thing i really like is you can swap out the feet you got these more human looking feet here or you have the proper rhino hooves those look super fun. I haven't swapped them out yet because I think I prefer the more detail on the feet here. The extra wraps and the stuff going on there, that's really nice. And also just the extra paint on the toenails as well. Same with the fingernails. Then you've got this whole wash over here as well, which really brings out the dynamic details on the muscles, the shadows, all that kind of stuff. The more I look at him, the more I play about with him, the more I'm like, yes, this dude, it's a bit dangerous actually, because I wasn't planning to collect any more Fight for Glory characters or anything like that, but now I'm thinking, because <sighs> I don't have a specific monster set or anything, but I've got Shao Kahn, and now I've got like his, his monster squad, basically. So this guy, next to the AXY King Rex, next to the Orc, next to Mythic Legion's Equinox thing, whatever he's called, they all just fit together so beautifully, and I love that they're all different lines as well, but when you've got a big monster squad, you just gotta fill it out. And this dude, he fills it out real nicely. Also, I didn't mention with the articulation, you've got the quite nice little sort of butterfly joints on the back here. There's not a huge range of motion, but again, it's the fact that you've got these joints and they all fit and tessellate. It's so satisfying. You see, there, there's no big gaps or anything. It's just beautiful how they've done that. I really, yeah, looking at this, I think I found my favorite pose for him. <laughs> <laughs> Just a badass. I'm having so much fun playing with this now. Okay, time for a final grade. And as a final grade for the Combatants Fight for Glory Ketuta figure, I'm gonna give this guy four stars out of five with a BOOM seal of model behavior. This thing is just so much fun to play around with. I wanna say a huge big thank you to friend of the show, Eric, who sent this to me. Man, I would have never considered getting this myself, but then it landed on my doorstep and holy potatoes, this is so much fun. So thank you, man. I'm absolutely smitten with this. Also, I didn't even notice or think to point out, he's got cloth goods as well. What do I always say? A little bit of mixed media makes something feel so much more high-end and zhuzhed up. So having the actual cloth material around his kind of skirt here, 
That's that's wicked, man. I yeah. The, the more I play with it, the more I get out of it, and that's what an action figure should be. So yeah, I really really dig this. But enough about my thoughts, folks. What do you think about this line of figures? Are you into it? Are you tempted to get into it? Comment below. Let me know. And if you like what you see here and you want to see more, then you know what you gotta do. You gotta join the six one clicks by clicking the like, share, and subscribe buttons. And if you want to go one step beyond in supporting the channel, you can do. Don't worry about Patreon. Don't worry about channel memberships, but if you go over to Into the AM, then you can help out the channel by buying some badass graphic design tees. Click the link in the description below for 10% off, and then they will see that the model behavior viewers have spending some money on their website, and they're like, Dave, we got to keep on sponsoring you. And I'll be like, of course you can, my friends, but now it's going to cost you because my rates just went up. And they'll probably say, actually, no, but you know what, Dave, we're fine. I go, no, no, please, please come back, come back. Can I have some more t-shirts too? I actually genuinely really like these. And that's the story of how I run model behavior. Begging and scratching. <laughs> so gang, thank you for watching. And until next time, keep displaying model behavior.